Hi, this is Rick for EDU Mobile. Now we're going to look at layouts in a little bit more depth. I've got a relative layout and I've still got my hello world up here. I've made it a large text and then I've got a linear layout embedded in it and that linear layout contains three buttons. Let's look at how this is laid out. Here's my relative layout and here's my first text view. And now here's my linear layout and my orientation is horizontal. Layout width and layout height are set to fill parent and wrap content. In other words, it's going to be as wide as the parent, less the margins, and it's going to wrap its own content vertically. And then it's laid out below text view 2 so that we can see that a linear layout can act within a relative layout with the relative layout metrics, layout below and align parent start of true. And then I've got my three buttons, and these are all the same for the moment. Uh, they're ID button, button 2, button 3, they all have the same text. I'm not pulling it from a string file. Uh, this is just a demo. They are all set to wrap their own content. And so looking at the design, I can see that my three buttons are all the same width. They are all wrapping their content. So now let's take a look at this in a little more detail. What if I were to change the text of one of the buttons. Let's say button 3. And I'm just going to change it to new. Notice what happens in our design view. The three buttons are still all wrapping the content. Uh, this button is shorter because it's wrapping its own content and our three buttons are no longer the same length. So now, what if we wanted our three buttons to take up the full width of the layout because the, the linear layout that they're all wrapped in is the width of, their, of, the, of its parent, which is the relative layout. So let's apply a weight to, let's say, button 1. So if we make all of these three buttons have a default weight of 0. If we apply a weight of 1 to button 1, and that is Android layout, whoops, layout weight, of 1. Now button 1 will expand even though it's set to wrap its content button 1 will expand horizontally so that the entire three button collection will fill up the linear layout. Okay that's good but what about if we wanted uh, let's say button 1 and button 2 to be equal in width and then button 3 to be sort of a uh, take up the rest of the space. Well, we could apply an Android uh, layout weight. Oh, whoops, colon there. Sorry about that. Layout weight of 1. And now these two buttons, the first two buttons, should balance. And they do. And we can see that here. These two buttons are now the same width. Now, one more important thing to note is even if we change this back to new button, uh, what do you expect would happen? These two would have a weight of one, yes, but since all three fields are set to wrap their content, the three fields again become the same size. Even though the first two buttons have a weight greater than the third button, since this button is set to wrap its content, it will display its content no matter what. So let's call this new button 3 and see what happens. We see that even though the weights of the first two buttons are greater than the weight of the third button, the third button still displays its content because it is set to wrap its content. Thank you very much.